This is the bottom of Lake Mead. There it is. Man, that was a hike. 2018 is the other side of that bug. Here's 2021. I wonder what time last year. And uh, as you can see, the water is still over there a ways. Welcome back to Dean of Machines. Today I put together a video uh, about a work trip I went on to Las Vegas. While I was there, I visited Lake Mead and uh, took some video over a couple of days portraying the, the lack of water. You know, it's cool to document it. Fortunately, in 2022, we have cell phones and the know-how and forethought to film just about everything we can. So, uh, this video is just a walk around of Lake Mead showing the different artifacts and whatnot. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Check us out. Lots of rotary content, mostly old Volvos like the 67 Volvo that we pulled out of the woods after 35 years. Real beautiful shot of the desert until you realize you're standing where Lake Mead once was and well, that's the water line. There's the boats. Almost sitting on the boat. It's probably most important to point out the water line. You can see here where it goes from dark brown to real white like. That used to all be underwater. This is insane. You're looking up at the water line. It's up there. Walked all the way out here hoping that I could walk to that next ledge and go out on that point. This is all mud too, like this is all silt. Like it's not, that's not rock. That's just mud. And it's crumbling away. That's insane. I am currently standing in a spot that should be about 70 feet underwater. All sorts of artifacts to find. That's a cylinder head to something. What's particularly interesting is the amount of boats that are showing up. Just out of nowhere. Boats. There's a boat. Congratulations. You found a boat. They're all over this lake. I wonder how old that guy is, huh? Probably quite old. So the top is like a soft, kind of crusty layer, and then you go about six inches down, it just becomes this paste. Ooh, I'm gonna lose my shoe. Oh, I'm sinking. Oh, maybe it's time to get out of here. Jesus. Look at that split. Oh, jet skier. The scourge of the water. Look at that massive crack. This whole thing is like a big jelly blob. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm slowly sinking on this piece. Was, uh, hopping on that one piece over there and it started sinking into the ground. That could be dangerous. 
Here's a boat ramp. You, you, you're supposed to launch your boat right here. Like you're supposed to be shoving her off and saying sayonara. Huh. Unbelievable. Yeah, that, that's the other boat ramp they built further down. As you can see, there's a problem with it. Yeah, that's the boat ramp over there that's supposed to be underwater. So is this area here. Uh, yeah, water's over there. All the sand's washed out of the rock. Now it's just like a gravel road out here. Incredible. Uh, at one point, that's the only way you could get your boat to the boat ramp. Uh, basically what fish see. This is such a beautiful lake. But I mean, you can see over there, this is the intake tower. The bottom of it's not in the water anymore. Might, uh, might be an issue. As I'm walking around out here, there's all sorts of relics and whatnot. Stuff you lose up here. Your boat, you know? Yeah, your dad's cruising along, and next thing you know, his flag flies off the back. Kind of sad. I'm a veteran. Like to take it home, but can't touch it. Here's a little cowling from a speedboat. I don't know where the rest of the boat is, but there's that. Got random cables from stuff. Got a lot of concrete. Got barrels filled with concrete as anchors. Looks like a bunch of batteries. I'm not sure what that's from. Those are definitely batteries. You got some ear earphones. That's actually for an outboard motor. So you can run it out of the water. You put the plungers on the outside of the water intake, run a hose to it, and you can start it and let it run. You got parts of a grill, just random junk everywhere. Glass from who knows what. Actually, I want to come back to this glass. That's very, very old glass. Look at the shape. That's a... It's not a square piece of glass. Like 60s, 50s, or 60s. Edison battery. Comment down below if you're old enough to uh, remember Edison batteries. Another battery. Forever alone. I wonder where the mate to that is. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we found it? If you got the mate to that shoe, um, it's here at Lake Mead. There's another old boat. Pretty sure that one looks like a Splashcraft uh, 69er. Yeah, I think so bottom of the most recent boat ramp this is this is a long ways away too man like it's not I don't know where the actual road is out here This is the 
area known as Boulder Beach. Um, yeah, this used to all be underwater too. Now it's just a big uh, rocky area. This is the Special Events Beach. I wonder if this is what it's like to drive on the moon. Incredible. Because launching the old boat here is a uh, free-for-all now. It's kind of interesting. You can see the water here is very shallow. I wonder how much longer there'll be water in this lake. I'm on a boat ramp up there. I'm over here cruising down the beach. Here's a boat ramp. This is the last boat ramp that is usable. And last I saw, if you wanted to launch a boat here, you had to have four-wheel drive, and uh, most people needed to be towed out of here. So you, just one truck trying to drag the boat out. Couldn't get the boat out because the truck would end up stuck in the mud or whatever. 2008 waterline. It's like halfway down the band there. And we're still a long ways from water. So it's 15 years, 14 years. Pretty incredible. Las Vegas Boat Harbor right here. Finally, after off-roading for an hour, get down close enough to the water, there are a lot of boats in here and I don't know what they're gonna do with any of them because they are running out of space. June 14, 2022, next day, we have lost this much, this much water in 24 hours. That's a lot of water. Oh, I feel like fishing. Uh, don't come to the marina, it's not allowed. But uh, that big boy's carp. I think that the rest of them are striper. That's catfish right there. Just stop looking at you like, oh, I give up food. They are everywhere. All in the shade of the dock. Makes sense, right? Jesus, that's a big fish. That's going to be a two foot, 30 pound carp. cruising along looking for food. That's a big fish. There's another one. Damn. After watching it for a while, they're pacing because it's the only spot they can go is up and down the dock. Yeah, I mean, they're... You're off the pavement, down in the gravel, and then you've got a mat to launch on, so good luck to you. Speaking with some locals, the white line, so right about where that dumpster is up there, just below that, just below this dirt ridge here, that's 1996, all up in here, right? So you can see the brown dirt and then it turns to rock. So where it's rock is where it used to be just water. So I'd be underwater right now in 1996. That line is the line that you see all the way out there. The white line stopping on the, the rock. This is the Las Vegas Bay boat ramp. And um, there, there's a stream down there, which is kind of cool. But the lake is out there. 
<laughs> I'm walking downhill right now. And it's clearly been very dry for a very long time. At the end of the boat ramp, it, uh, it's had its fair share of erosion. Yeah, boat ramp, cliff. Guess we'll have to find uh, another place to park. That's uh, another boat ramp. Dry up. Where's the lake? Oh, yeah. it's out there. There's the lake. Oh my god. I can't believe water used to be up here. I wonder what good looking's cooking over here, huh? Somebody's brave enough to bring a Camry down here. Looks like that's the end of the road for us. Unless we get out and walk it. I wonder if I can get down there driving now. I don't feel like trying to hike down the hill. Uh, if you can believe it, there's more boats. Boats, boats. All right, so that's where we turned around up there. Of course, the truck's right there. This is all dry, like super dry. I could probably drive out here. I was careful because I didn't want to end up like this. I don't have any recovery gear. Also, it's a rental, so I have to wash it before I return it. But, uh, holy crap. It's a sweet little sailboat. Pretty interesting that this stuff is all just randomly out here. Now it's a sailboat in the desert. There's one really cool thing, that guy over there. Then you got this little guy out here upside down. That's been here a minute, look at that prop. That prop is, I'm surprised that still spins. That's gotta be an Evan Rude. Oh, that's sweet, it's a little speedboat. This is a, uh, that's a checkmate. That's a checkmate, something or other. Comment down below if you know what this uh, 10 foot checkmate might be. Probably from the 70s. That's a sweet little boat. I wonder if it could be saved. I should talk to the park ranger and see if they want uh, somebody to take it out of here. Smells like fish. Yeah, I miss her. Anyway, more cracks. This is squishy. We'll see if we can make it to the other boat. Oh, let's get real soft. But we're to the boat. Oh, it's sinking. Yeah, that's another one. Oh, that might be a glass drawn or something, but it's another old one. Actually, it's yellow on top. I wonder if that cowl we found yesterday is what it's to. I'm sinking. You can see how far the water's receded in the last day. I think where this tree is, there's a little bit of brush. I think that's water yesterday. And then that 10 feet to the water is just in the last 24 hours. It looks like that's uh, an empty barrel, thankfully. Uh, I started sinking in real bad there. Hopefully I can get out of here. Cause I know it's soft over here too. <laughs> uh oh. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, we're doing all right. Doing all right. Good, we're good. Getting soft. Okay, I think we're okay. Here's another one. Oh, I had an engine fire. Wonder how it sank though.
cool old boat. The critter's in it. Couldn't tell you what brand motor this is. If you know, uh, comment down below. Cool that there's two of them on this boat. It's a pretty cool, cool boat. Too bad it's uh, like this. Sorry if I'm wheezing like an old man walking out of dry lake bed in the desert in 100 degree heat. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing though. That's the situation. <laughs> yeah, go figure somebody's gonna show up and tag it. Do you wanna give it a shot again? See if you sink like I did? <laughs> I got this about here. Yeah, see, you're going out quick. Uh, uh. Oh, I've got some kind of. I think I'm okay now. I think the trick is aim for the center of the the tiles. So don't. Uh, Is that how they spell Yahweh? But in the Latin alphabet, Jehovah begins with an I. J. <laughs> Take your guesses as to why it's upright, but it is. I don't actually need to get this close. Okay, so now we're hanging out with the Washington Post, but we've got some sort of speedboat behind us. I'm trying not to sink into the crusty mud again, which was fun the first time. Don't need to do it a second time, but we have, I don't know, something from the 70s, big V8. Yeah, stuck stern down. And go figure, somebody already tagged it. So, what are you gonna do? Hey look, another boat. It's kind of cool hanging out with the Washington Post guys. They've been talking to a lot of people about what's going on here. And uh, what's interesting is so many people are so interested in trying to find bodies in the barrels and whatever. Some people even have the belief that there may be treasure or money buried in some of these barrels out here in the water. If you ask me if uh, I was gonna bury something in the, in the desert, I would not do it in a lake, that's for sure. That's for sure. Anyway, it's hot out here. This is where that other river and that boat launch that's up over there, that river comes down in here. That's from Lake Las Vegas out into Lake Mead. So oh, there's a guy in a little speedboat. Give her hell, buddy. Had a little whoopsie with the rental. Uh, you can't really tell, but this is like a bowl in here and I'm going back uphill there. And um, that's extremely soft in there. We almost lost the rental. <laughs> Whoops. Honestly, it's like walking around on a whole nother planet. This is unreal. This is just wet sand here. Just wet sand. It's so shallow. You know what I mean? Like I walked all the way over here from the rental car. There it is. Man, that was a hike. It's definitely hot out today. This smells like sewage, to be honest. It smells awful. Oh, sweet attire. Oh, wow. Um, super cushion. That's a good year for you. Oh, it's got no tread. It's no good. Just eroding away. A little bit at a time. Amazing. Oh, a couple more. Got a Cooper Roadmaster. Is that a, it's got a tube in it still. No idea what that is. Some sort of radial, steel belted radial. So it's not that old, but old enough, right? Yeah, there's tires everywhere out here. 
<laughs> at the Montgomery Ward Riverside. I mean, suiting place for it, right? Next to the river. And that's it. We're officially on the lake bed. This is the bottom of Lake Mead. Sure, it's not uh, out there where the water is, but uh, this was considered the bottom at one point. So, <sighs> super sad. It's all sorts of volcanic rock out here. Pretty interesting. Hard to believe this all used to be underwater. Hey, on the boat. Again, miles from the water. It's a little one. What kind of motor is that? It looks like a Mercruiser, I think. Look at the old battery in there. Jeez. This was underwater for a long time. I do you believe that's an OMC outdrive? I wonder where the rest of it is. That was probably a fire, if I had to guess. Yeah. It's all burnt on the backside here. Probably fuel lines, you know? They'll go up. It's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, this first payment I've seen in probably two hours. Uh, let's keep going around north. Well, at least this beach is a little bit sandy. Just look at that water line, though. Well, we're well below the water line. You can see up there. I mean, this is supposed to be all underwater. That's looking uphill. Look at these little guys just hanging around. And again, you can see just how crazy low everything is. I don't know if that's the road to the marina or what, but like this, this is the boat launch here and you can see all the, the white sand down in there. That used to be Lake. Incredible. Now you gotta park at the bottom of the boat launch and walk to your boat. That is unbelievable. Bottom of the boat ramp where the boats are. This is a hike. That's gotta be over a quarter mile down to the, the water. And we have to be probably 50 feet above where the boats are still. Lake Mead Waterline 2018. Off the bottom of the boat ramp. We're still a long ways from boats. Um, yeah. 2018 is the other side of that bug. Here's 2021. I wonder what time last year. And uh, as you can see, the water is still over there a ways. All the garbage, all the debris, the random stuff in the, all the dock carts, all the dock boxes, all the concrete blocks that the marina used to be tied to, all the hoses. Construction stuff, just, I think everything's just happening so fast they can't do anything about it. Nobody wants to do anything about it. It's sad. This place is a ghost town. Looks like somebody got in a little shallow. Whoops. 
Yeah, this place is a ghost town. Nobody here. I was just talking to one of the boat owners and he says for every foot the water drops, they have to push the marina out another 10 feet. And this isn't a small marina, this is a huge marina. But 10 feet, man. That is incredible. And they're almost to the middle of the bay at this point. Just admiring these houseboats. Their hulls are all made out of aluminum. That's pretty sweet. That's one serious hull. It's a lot of welding. I wonder what a full aluminum houseboat costs. Honestly, the amount of piping and hoses and debris. It's kind of amazing. Hey look, another boat. Next day, June 14, 2022. It is a Tuesday and we have lost that much water from yesterday. So this line right here, there, Lake Mead. Again, Boat Harbor is about 26 hours later. Pretty incredible. It's gonna be it for this guy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our walk around Lake Mead. Uh, it's really, I, I'm at a loss for words. And the, the biggest thing is the the water line. I mean, look at look at the water line here. I mean, we should be underwater right now. This where I'm standing right now was underwater in 2018. That was just four years ago. So it's sad. It's the reality though. We're not supposed to be a lake here. We thought we could do it. But, uh, we can't, so. But, uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, if you like automotive content, we have a lot of automotive content here. Consider subscribing, slap a like, leave a comment, all the things. How about you go out and fix something, huh? Have a good night.